Hello everybody and welcome. Well, let's just say welcome. Hang on, I'm a little bit down. Anyway, I found this great indie game and I'll have the Kickstarter, I think it was called, in the description below. It's called Chasm. After years of battle in distant lands, a lingering a weary soldier now journeys home. The lingering thoughts of his friends and family only seem to make the trip more arduous as he enters the remote mining town of Carthus. An ominous chill overcomes him. Anyway, I found this great. Oh, I haven't found it. I found this on Pyro Punch's channel, but I decided to um, put it on my channel so I can give him a little bit more attention, just to say. I've played through this, but it seems like a great indie game. And if you want, and if you like what you see here, go back it up. Now that's just a blacksmith. I won't be speaking to everybody. Just download, download the demo on their Kickstarter page and, and be fine. That doesn't make any sense. The reason I'm skipping through all of this is because, like I said, I have gone through all of it already. And I just want to show you it. So if you want to play the game for yourself. So anyway, if you want to go down on the game yourself, go to the Kickstarter page and there should be a link to the demo on that Kickstarter page. So anyway, this game is a mix between like Castlevania, Legend of Zelda, and stuff like that. This, the Book of Blades, is actually like a spell. You have a mana bar under your health bar. And use the B button. I'm using the 360 pad right now to use it. Let's not go that way. There is a level up system in this game, so you do get stronger as you level up. Ow. Oh god. So now you eat food to recover your HP. Ow, I'm gonna die. I actually haven't gone this way on my first playthrough, so I died. So anyway, as of now, there isn't... Sorry if you hear any squeaking sounds, that's my uh, little board. Anyway, if you die, you... 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 you right, oh my god, I gotta... As of now, there is no penalty. In the future, there might be. As this is like an, an early. This this is how much was done after five months of work. So, so that, right. So that's what we got in here. Oh, just money. And then you see that those things explode. So. These things fall off if you go under them. And I'm almost dead. Let's use that health potion. Now this demo doesn't go with that. Well, I actually haven't gone this way, so there, there might, this might be one of those kind of dungeons that are that have more than one exit. No, it doesn't seem like it. So this just led me to the end. Well, more money. And as you can see, the enemies do respawn after you leave a then after you leave a room and go back. And I don't think there's a way you can tell how much experience you get. No, there is. It says next, but it doesn't really tell you how much experience you've gained. So it doesn't have to per se, but it'd be nice for you to have. Use that milk. Ow. I didn't see that. Fuck it. <laughs> see, I leveled up. Like, like some other games, when you level up, your, your uh, health recovers and all that jazz. I'm just gonna speed through this real quick. Like those enemies are like the enemies from Metroid. I 
I really like the art style too. And I think you can actually sell those rubies and things you got in the shop. But I don't really... Like... You, you can buy stuff, better stuff at the... And this is an RC sword. But that's much more better than our old weapon. But it's a little bit longer. I think these dungeons are randomly generated because I don't actually remember this room from the last time I played it, so that's good. And I died. Well, let's see what happens when we go back. I start in floor one again. This part of the dungeon seems to be the same though. So what it seems to be now is that is that because this this is completely different from when the first time I played it, or unless something is changing, then so what I'm seeing is that um some of the rooms are the same though. So what I'm seeing is that um once you go through a f when you first enter a floor in a save file, it's uh, different, but when you go back. Like how to explain this correctly? Let's not go that way. Um, so, like on each game, it's different. If that's the right way to say it. What is that? No, stay away. What is this? You feel protected. I didn't see this last time. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is that um. Is that it's different for everybody, but once it generates, it like once this once the floor generates, it always says that way. Um, like it doesn't change each visit. It's this like it's different for each save file, but it's the same when you go back to that floor. So that's what I'm trying to say. Stay away, you bat. Yeah, let's just go. Good treasure. Health potions. If this this room seems familiar. Oh god. So I think some rooms are the same. Yeah. This should be the way out. Nope. Uh, this doesn't seem like it is the same. Never mind. What is this? Growth requires sacrifice. What that means? I don't think I've gone this way. Book of Healing. Let's use that apples we got. Ow. Get out of here. Now this time I'll I'll spoil it now, so if you don't want it really spoiled for you, it's not really anything plot or intended, it's just when it's in this demo. You'll see a sneak peek into the next boss, but you want to actually fight him. I'm assuming that means that's a bottomless pit. Okay, when I first play this game, the dungeon wasn't this long. 
Uh, let's run. Okay, so clearly it isn't this way. God damn it, I died. <laughs> Again. Let's buy some more equipment. Let's show that. So you can see you can buy a bandana, cloth tunic, stuff like that from him. Let's buy some let's buy a cloth tunic and a bandana. To increase our defense. So what I'm guessing is that so what I'm guessing is going to happen is that the farther down you get into the dungeon. Well the further down you get into the dungeon there are weak points where you will be able to return. So that you won't have to keep going back down every time you die. Is it this way? I see landmines there. No, it's not. But it's, this will give me an extra thing. Oh, I didn't mention, but there is a. That's not what I meant to do. There is a rolling attack. I forgot how to do it though. Not a rolling attack, but you can roll. That way is the right way. This isn't it either. That grapes. God damn it. Let me through. Hmm. So only which way is the right way. Okay. Run. Oh no. Did I go up there? God damn it. No, I haven't. Oh my god. Oh, hammer. I level up. What's in here? Just money. See, and it just ends with to be continued. So, in the description down, I'll have links to the to the page, to the Kickstarter page, if you want to back this up and get it released sooner. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll see you guys next time.